Bernard's makes 300 celebration cards in the ratio shown. Two fifths of the birthday cards have numbers on them. 36% of the anniversary cards have numbers on them. None of the congratulations cards have none on them. Work out the fraction of the 300 cards that have numbers on them, giving our answer in the simplest form. Right, I'm going to draw a bar model to start with. We've got 7 to 5 to 3. Not necessarily, you know, to scale here, but I'm just going to try to say that this here represents 300 cards. So I want to know what one part is. I've actually got 15 parts. I do 300 divided by 15, which is 20, to get one part. Now let's deal with it one at a time. So birthday cards. There are seven parts. So seven times 20, there's 140 birthday cards. Let's find two fifths of that. Two fifths times 140. We can divide by five to give 28, and then times by two, it's going to be 56 birthday cards with numbers on. You can alternatively do this. So get your fraction button, two fifths times 140. So it gives you 56 if you want. Next up then, anniversary cards. So there are five parts. Five times 20 is 100. 100 anniversary cards, 36% of 100 is just going to be 36, because that's what it means per 100. That's what per cent means. So the total is 56 plus 30. Remember, there's none, no congratulations cards with numbers on. So we get 92. Just got one more thing to do, and that is to work out, remember, the fraction. We're told that at the start. So the fraction is 92 over 300. And we can, you know, you can either cancel it down by hand or you can just put it in your calculator. It will sort it out for you. Simplest form gives 23 over 75. You know, you won't need to show working for that, but if you want to, of course, you just, you could divide by two because it's even and then divide by two again. And there's, there's no common factors then between 23 and 75 other than one. Well done.